But first, is driving abroad, uh, plain and simple, a man's job? Many women fear driving abroad, with nearly half saying that they will never attempt it. UK women are far more worried than men about getting behind the wheel overseas. 73% have never done it. And of the women who have driven abroad, more women than men said it was more difficult than driving at home. So is driving abroad beyond the wit of women let's talk to mike buchanan founder of justice for men and boys and the women who love them mike good morning to you yes good morning mike what do you make of this then is this down to confidence then it is i think um um i mean um yes i mean uh, um, women are just more prone to anxiety than men so we've got to ask why should they be encouraged to do something that makes them more anxious is that true Uh, they're more prone to anxiety uh, of course they are. And, uh, you, of course they are. Yeah, but you'll see even even in the UK, Mike. I mean, how often do you see women driving in preference to, to their partners, unless it's for, for for a very good reason, such as the man's been drinking? Very rarely. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, men and women are different, and given free choices, they'll make different different decisions. I mean, there's no problem here which needs solving. But isn't it because we're still in 2014? We're kind of telling women that they're no good at driving. We're no, constant- one's telling, no one's telling women. The women are simply, uh, uh, you know, uh, are responding to their levels of anxiety, um, you know, in stressful situations. So are we really saying that, uh, particularly abroad, that a woman should be somehow encouraged or forced to, you know, to, to, to drive, which will make her anxious? Yes, her I, partner, well, yeah, I, I and, think... And, you know, and her partner anxious. It's completely crazy. Shouldn't we be doing more to encourage women and tell them that, in fact, that, you know, their driving is just as good as a man's? No, 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 we shouldn't. I mean, we, we, you know, we, we should let we should let men and women be. You know, it's just ridiculous this 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 narrative that women need to be encouraged to do this. They need role models for that. There need to be government programs for the other, and so on. I mean, who pays for all these initiatives? Men, in the main, who pay seventy two percent of the income tax. I mean, what's wrong with women? Are they individuals or sheep? <laughs> well, let's bring in Liz Turner, who's a, a motoring journalist and blogger. Uh, morning to you, Liz. Morning. Say hello to Mike. Hello, Mike. Hello, Liz. I think you probably caught the tail end of what he was saying there. Um, Yes, I would. Um, I mean, I I think one of the problems with um, sexism is it's so casual and people don't don't know they're doing it. So when you're driving um, as a woman and your husband is constantly making comments, it's like taking your driving test every day. Um, And that's why a lot of women don't drive because they're so fed up with, you know, you could get in a different gear there and you could go a little faster there. Um, So I think there ought to be this new safety gadget um, which is called a man seat and it straps his hands down so he can't keep fiddling with everything and it, it <laughs> sort of covers his mouth so he can't keep commenting so there we are mike it's a confidence thing we keep we keep nagging on absolute abs- absolute nonsense i mean it, 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 i've never heard such it, it's just crazy i mean you know i'm, I'm reminded of the um of, of the you know this thing about you know um you know uh, you know um, women are terrific drivers and, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, dear. Uh, How you know. do you know it's rubbish if you haven't experienced it? I, I've, I've experienced plenty of, uh, of you know, of, you know I've, had, I've, had, I've had a number of partners who've driven, and, and, and all of them have been, have been perfectly happy for me to drive. No, but uh, have, they, have they commented on every move you make, which is unfortunately something men tend to do to women? A couple of them have. Because and how did you feel about driver, that? Apparently every male driver in the country drives too fast. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all, but I do know a lot of women who don't drive because their husbands are such a pain, um, and that's a real shame because I love driving, and I know a lot of women who love driving too. Well, of course you do because of, uh, because of the work you do, Liz, but, 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 but most women are perfectly happy to let men drive them about. I mean, they're, they're, they're being chauffeured, for God's sake. I mean, what's not, what's not to like? Oh, come on, but, but Mike, women are safer drivers. We know that, don't we? There are fewer accidents. Well, I'm, well, it's interesting you mention that because I, that, when, when people say that, I'm reminded of the Jasper Carrot story about how his mother had learned to drive in middle age. She, she passed a driving test after a few attempts, and um, whenever she was parked at the side of the road and wanted to pull out, she remembered that she had to look in the rearview mirror first. So she looked in the mirror, but pulled out regardless of what was or wasn't coming behind her. Now, she'd never had an accident, but she'd seen hundreds. <laughs> so do you base most decisions on your life on Jasper Carrot sketches? I don't. Of course, of course. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's the only way to live. 
No, but, I, but I know a lot of women um, who are suffering what I'm describing. I'm not making it up. Um, and I, I think all men and women need to do is respect each other in the car. And, uh, you know, if women just, you know, be a little bit more forceful and men back off a bit, I think we'd all be happier in the car. Yeah, well... And maybe have fewer children being sick in the back, like I, I was when I was a kid. Liz, 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 are you really saying that, that women are not more prone to anxiety than men? Um, no, I'm not disagreeing with that. I think perhaps women are, um, which is another reason to leave them alone, to get on with their driving. Well, look, you keep bringing this up, Mike. Are you saying that in life, generally, women are more prone to anxiety? Of course. Well, I'm not sure that's true. I, I don't have any statistics on that. Um, I think that too many women ha lack confidence um, and self-esteem, and that's something they need to build up. And, you know, that is our job. And how do we do that, Liz? Um, well, I think we need more respect for each other. It would really help. And I think for women to sort of read books, look at other people who achieve great things, and say, I could do that. And so men probably don't know they're doing this nagging a lot of the time and they undermining don't. confidence, and so they should think very carefully about what they say. Yeah, I mean, uh, even my own partner, we had to have a, a discussion about it, and he had no idea that he was getting on my nerves. <laughs> uh, what, what was he saying? <laughs> oh, you know, the classic things. Oh, you could have gone then, or, oh, you know, I'd be in a higher gear, or, you know... That, yeah, constant. Just con yeah. constant nagging. <laughs> All right, Liz, thank you very much. Liz Turner, who's a motoring journalist and blogger, Mike Buchanan, as well founder of Justice for Men and Boys. So, I'd love to get your comments on this then. Whether, come on, I'll allow you to tell me this much. Does your other half, does your man constantly make those little remarks that just undermine your confidence? You know, oh, I would have gone into a higher gear there, or would I, I would have pulled out there. Because we'd never say such comments, Dave, would we? That's a bit sexist. Does your man ever do this? My wife does that to me all the time. Oh, so it can well, happen she, both she, ways. Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. Oh, she's okay. the one who, who, who is by, by far the person who does the lion's share of the driving, because it's easier that way. But she's also a backseat driver. Uh, y uh, yes. Yeah, even when she's in the front seat. You get, you get a lot of uh, sharp intakes of breath from, from the... Uh, and, and huffs and puffs as well. So there you go.